all right let's uh let's talk about russia castle age here um yeah so there are two premises to this build uh premise number one we want to make cav archers as quick as we can cav archers are insanely good um they put opponents under a shitload of pressure uh, a lot of people play poorly against them because uh, of how difficult they are um and they're pretty easy to use. This is a pretty easy build. This is an easy way to get a lot of points against uh, quite a lot of sieves. Second premise of this build is that mining gold is for twats and we're not going to do it. Uh, Russians are very good at not having to mine gold and they're good at getting more food and wood through their weird eco bonuses. So we're just going to do that. Um, I have a game here with a, a very rough guide for you. Um, <clears throat> Pardon me. Uh, standard uh, Russia opening, four on sheeps, two to make a hunting cabin next to trees, then a house, then back onto sheeps. We're going to make a second scout from here. We're going to go up to ten on food. And then we're going to rally onto wood. Whilst we look for sheeps, and we... <clears throat> whilst we look for sheeps, and then uh, once we have some, we find wolves to attack and we bring them back to the town center. And we kill any deers on sight. Uh, by the way, this is against Neptune, who's like a top 15 uh, Chinese main. Um, he's pretty... he's alright. He knows the thing or two about Chinese. Um, I think China's one of the sieves you can definitely do this against, because they tend to play very passively early game. Um, I think the, the only sieves I don't think you do this against are Mongols, because um, if they get a bunch of outposts everywhere, Cav Archer's very bad. Um, England, because they'll just poke you to death with longbows, and longbows are very good against cav archers, so it's quite, it's quite tricky. Um, and possibly Abbasid, because they can ram you very quickly, which is, uh, difficult to deal with, but I don't know, I don't think a lot of Abbasids like to ram too quickly. Anyway, <clears throat> um, and yeah, it should be good against China. Um, the Roos Mirror. Franks especially. This is a very good anti-Franks build order. Um, and Delhi, uh, don't do it against Delhi. I think against Delhi you need to actually, uh, play aggressively in Feudal Age and make sure they don't get Sacred Sites. And if this build will get them, will let them have Sacred Sites. And if they set up Palisade Walls around it, you're not going to be able to get in there with cav archers. Like, they won't be able to kill the the, the wall, so you can decap the, the sites. Um, this build will be good against HRE, though. So yeah, HRE, Franks, the Roost Mirror, China, Abbasid. Those are the five civs I think I would do this against. The other three, maybe not so much. Um, anyway, uh, when you can go up, uh, have five guys build a golden gate, and just rally on wood until we have about eight uh, villages. I go up to nine, uh, which might be a mistake, I'm not sure. And we want to build a wooden fortress before the second house. And then we build the second house. And then as soon as we have about eight or nine vills here, rally back on food. Just get sheeps. So I got a little, I got a little lucky and a little unlucky this game. I mean, this is going to be playing Russia a lot because your opening um, can be a little, uh, well, it can vary quite a bit as to what happens because we need to kill a lot of sheep. We need to kill a lot of animals. And we need to get a lot of sheep. And I got to kill a lot of animals, but I didn't get a lot of fucking sheep. Um, like you can see, my bounty is just about to hit 500, which this early on on in the game is uh, pretty weird. Um, he, Neptune did not kill his deer patches. I don't know if he even scouted them. Did he scout them? No, he knew they were, he knew they were there. Yeah, I think he knew they were there, he just didn't kill them. He kept looking for sheep. Anyway. <clears throat> so yeah, it can vary a lot, but... Uh, basically what we want to do have oh, 1200 food by getting sheeps see because I didn't wasn't able to get more sheeps back I have a lot of vital vills here which is really bad they go out and build a hunting cabin and just collect deers but 
We really don't want to have to do this. If we were playing against Franks and we did that, this would be a fucking disaster. Um, I have some more sheeps here though, so yeah, it's fine. And with the Golden Gate, we're going to store up charges so we know how to use them correctly. Which is selling wood to get gold and buying food if we have too much gold. Just to get to 1200, 600, quick as we can. We're not going to spend wood until we kind of need to. Um, his wooden fortress guards our wood lion. The town center guards the food lion. Um, a wooden fortress, by the way, we the other reason to build this isn't just for defense. It's also to get the extra 20% wood. Um, uh, it gives you 20% per uh, extra per drop off, which means 10 wood becomes 12. Um, and if a wooden fortress costs 175 wood, this means you require 86 drop-offs before it actually starts turning a profit. Uh, which is 5 trees, so at this point, this wooden fortress has now earned a profit, and for the rest of this wood line, I'm getting 20% extra. Um, so it took about 4-5 four, four minutes for the wooden fortress to pay off, not even that long actually. Oh wait, no, some of these were already chopped before, but well, whatever. This will be turning a profit soon. And we want to have a bunch of reserved wood, one uh, not just for selling, but also for building shit when we're going to go up. Uh, and for throwing down buildings if we needed them in an emergency, like an additional wooden fortress there if we were getting rammed. And it, we keep a charge ready to buy stone so we can upgrade the wooden fortress. And we throw down a couple rangers. Um, but I'm playing against China, so I'm not worried about that. But if it was like Abbasid, then I would have to be. Anyway, speed up. And now we go up at around 7.30. This is a slight, this is slightly later than I'd want. Uh, just because these guys had to go over there and eat deers. Ideally, you just have enough sheeps. There you go. Anyway, get, a, get about like eight or so food vills. Get them to age up. Now here's where... Uh, opinions differ, and I would leave it to you to decide which one you prefer more, because both are good. Uh, do we go up with Abbey, or do we go up with the Trade House? So, we did the Professional Scouts build a lot, a lot and we would go up with Abbey with that, um, to secure all the relics and shit, uh, and, and the sacred sites and get a lot of gold. Now, you might think... Well, why don't you just build a monastery and collect them that way, and then you can still have a high trade house? That's a good point. Um, I think the argument for going high trade house in this situation, though, is because... Uh, you're getting an ex Like, if you're not bringing deers to your base, these are the safest deers you can have. And they still give you a lot of gold. And this is not a very gold-heavy build. So, I don't know. Opinions differ. I, I, I defend the high trade house here. I like it. Um, but it really could be an abbey. Like, you can do either. The high trade house is just greedier. Uh, and the abbey is much more tempo based. Anyway, I have to throw down three rangers. The pro scouts build, ideally, you're going for four rangers, but since we're checking up too quick, I think just three will do. And you want to build the blacksmith to start getting your range attack upgrades. This trade house, by the way, is making 186 gold per minute because I'm already at 500 bounty. If I wasn't at 500 bounty, I think it only gives about 130 gold per minute. Either way, that's pretty insane, right? And it makes a deer every minute, so if you kill it, you get an extra 10 gold per minute. And I have like seven vills who will always have food, like they don't have to start farming. It's pretty good. Anyway, here you just want to try and balance your economy whilst pumping out pure cow archers and seeing what you can do with them. Uh, this timing, um, uh, this is a really fast time to be hitting a guy with cow archers. Like, he's at Castle Age as well. He's in Song Dynasty, and he went the Clock Tower, and he's going to supervise it, make a bunch of Springholds. And they will not do him much good. But 
But basically, this is what you want to do: is just rally cav archers and just try and get vil picks. As soon as you got six, as soon as you have five, I should say, you just one shot vils. Already three dead for nothing. Yeah, this is just a really difficult time to have to be fighting. And remember, no gold vils. It's all the golden gate and the cabins. That's where all our gold's coming from, because this unit does not cost gold. I just need a couple upgrades for it. They don't cost much gold. I can afford eco upgrades as well. Like, this shit is insane. And by focusing so heavily on food and wood, and with the Russians' natural eco bonuses, my eco's great! <laughs> I can build tons of these cav archers. They're good against everything. And when you mass them, they're even good against spring olds. Like, 14 damage to the Spring Old's 8 armor. He's still doing 6 a hit. That's not bad. I mean, it's not as good against the Clock Tower Spring Olds because they're 300 health as compared to 200 that everyone else gets, but it's not bad. Like, it'll add up. Anyway, um, yeah, the rest of this game is just us throwing units at each other and the Russian units are just better. Um... I don't know if Neptune realizes that you have to play very defensively against cab archers. Uh, these guys are bastards. Yeah, he, he's going for these palace guard attacks. It's, it's wrong. He needs archers. Archers and siege and just defend. Um, but, so from here is when you would want to start uh, thinking about your transition. Because you can't win on... You can't survive on pure cab archer alone. Um, and... Again, I sort of leave this to you to have to figure out. Um, I mean, getting stone or just buying it up and then expanding is a good idea. You can go your own spring olds, but I wouldn't do that against China because the clock tower ones are just way too good compared to yours. Um, uh, you can throw down a monastery and then start claiming relics, which is always a good thing to do in Castle Age when you're ahead. When you have tempo, start getting relics. Um, this game I opt for happens a bit later. Make a bunch of scouts to like try and fight these spring old pushes. Yeah, this is way too aggressive. Um, add a bunch of scouts so they can torch the spring olds. Although it doesn't really work as well as I'd hoped. Well, not quite as well as I'd hoped, but I mean it works pretty well. But yeah, just like look at our look at our economies here. Hold on a second. A bunch of oh yeah, I got these ten are about to hunt the boar. So just give it a second. All right, yep. Yeah, pause. So let's let's look at our economies real quick. I've got thirty vills on food. They're mostly hunting. There's a few berries, a couple of idols there. Um, yeah, hunting a bunch of deers, boar. I got horticulture of one. Do I have horticulture two? Oh, I started on horticulture too, alright. Um, I got double broad axe. I got 35, 30 to 35 dudes on food, 18 on wood. He has 16 on gold and vastly less food. Because he has to actually mine gold. And like, sure, gold units are pretty good, but like... Being able to concentrate this heavily on, on a unit I can always attack with is... I don't know, man. Russia, like, the Cav Archer is just so good. I love this unit. It's insane. And, like, if he was defending, which is what he should be doing, like, look how wide open his base is. I can hit these. I can hit these. I can, uh, I can go through here and hit these. Like, this is all open. Those, those. I can take, I can just soak up Barbican hits and like just dive and kill like officials. Like, I can do a lot with a bunch of cav archers. They're, they're really, they're really obnoxious to play against. Yeah, like I can run around and pick off these palace guards. Yeah, the game's basically over after this 
after this failed push. This is just not a good idea. Um, I think I threw it. Yeah, and I got a. Like I said, add the monastery when you're ahead. Start securing stuff. If you commit to attacking cav archers and your army dies, like, you're not gonna retreat very easily. And even against spring olds, like, when you hit enough, when you hit a good mass of cav archers, everything fucking dies. It's insane how good this unit is. No, oh, yeah, I'm getting the other boar. By the way, if you get survival techniques, your dudes are better against the boar. Still lost one, though. And this is this map, by the way, is High View, which is a very good Russia map. Uh, having hunting cabins around, like hunting cabins and stealth forests, will give you a lot more gold than you might think. I think it calculates different when it's in an ambush forest. And it's always good to have extra scouts, which Russia's good at doing. Yep, now I can just start picking vills. His army's really slow. It's farming. Look at all these farms. That's terrible. Like, I'm, I'm still hunting. I haven't got a single farm. I got this great economy. Yep. Big knight transition. Good against palace guards. Good against spring olds. And that's that. So yeah, just a reminder, your benchmarks are... Uh, ten on food, rally wood, go up with Golden Gate with five villages, keep rallying wood until you have about eight or nine, get a fortress, get the second house, um, then rally on sheeps and just keep rallying whilst microing your scouts and trying to get as much gold as you can, find as many sheeps as you can, lure wolves back to the town center, um, balance your economy with the gate so you can go up, pick which landmark you like, both are pretty good and throw down three rangers and a blacksmith and just rally cav archers and just stay on food and wood for as long as you can uh, delay adding gold because uh, Russians don't need to do that and uh, yeah just collect a lot of points collect them all before the patch ruins it <laughs>